The 2011 Zero Motorcycles DS was like NASA sending a chimp into space. For 2012, Zero is getting closer to sending Neil Armstrong. Zero has come a long way since first setting up shop in Santa Cruz six years ago, and its newest dual sport models offer proof. The all-electric direct drive DS is available in two flavors, a nine kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack version called the ZF9 that can travel up to 112 miles per charge in city traffic, and the six kilowatt hour ZF6 I was testing that can travel up to 75 miles per charge in the city or 42 miles at a consistent 70 miles per hour on the freeway. Finally, electric motorcycles are getting stronger. Zero claims a top speed of 80 miles per hour for its new DS, but I throttled the ZF6 up to 89, which I could only do for a couple minutes before the bike eased me back to a more moderate 78 to ensure the motor was running at an optimal temperature and also to give me back some usable torque. There are two modes on the DS, Sport and Eco. I can't recall which I was in when I blew past a Maserati off a green light. Splitting lanes on a whisper quiet motorcycle is a little creepy. But people still moved out of my way, so now I've got a new motto for you loud pipes save lives, folks. Loud clothes save lives. The DS is built off the same platform as the sport-oriented S, which I also tested briefly. For city riding, the saddle and the suspension on the DS are likely to be more comfortable, though both bikes are incredibly lightweight, agile, and well-balanced. The DS doesn't announce its presence either with sound or visually. It's just hard to make a battery box sexy. But the 2012 is getting closer. Unlike previous years, the frame has been color matched to the battery box to make it stand out less, and the overall styling is more aggressive with new black hoops, hubs, and headlights. Starting at $11,495, the Zero Motorcycles DS is expensive, but with gas prices expected to pass $5 this year, it's 480 miles per gallon equivalent, and no maintenance belt drive powertrain could start to pay back fairly quickly. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter.